All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Detroit Lakes Repair and is taking place at 172 pounds. Introducing first out of the blue corner, making his debut, coming in at 19 years of age, standing at six feet tall, weighing in at 168.4 pounds, representing the Academy, fighting out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, GJ And his opponent out of the red corner, also making his debut at 24 years of age, standing at 5 foot 9 inches, weighing in at 173 pounds, representing the Academy of Combat Arts from Uganda, Richard Jolly! And the referee for the action is Tony Storm. We got JJ Duran in the white trunks with the black flames in the blue corner. And Richard Dralu in the black trunks with gold trim. Boy, Dralu is fired up, isn't he? You've got to watch for adrenaline dumps. When you're coming in that hot, yeah. you might get an adrenaline dump after the first few exchanges. You've got to be very careful with that. Well, one thing working in his favor, he definitely looks like he's in shape. I mean, if we were judging this bout off of physiques, he is absolutely <laughs> cut from granite. He looks like a specimen, that's for sure. But we're not going to count out J.J. Duran, 19 years of age. Uh, it's a lot at 19 years of age to jump in here and be in front of this type of crowd and these type of lights. Yeah, we got a real good, real good crowd here in Detroit Lakes. The Kent Freeman Arena. Referee giving the final instructions for each fighter. Pointing out the neutral corners if a knockdown happens. Here we go. And we're going to start the... Ooh. Fight number five underway. And we are off to the first round. Ooh, a running kick by J.J. Duran. Dralu, left, right punch. Dralu is swarming, and this is a dogfight. Heavy knee to the body lands by Dralu. No honeymoon, fa honeymoon face with these two. They are absolutely getting after it. Drago looks like Melvin Gillard. Heavy pressure. kicks by both fighters. Drago kicked to the head. One, two. That's, one. A, that's a high head kick he threw right there. JJ Duran one, two, one, two. gets his kick caught back to the center. Drago looking for an angle. Don't wait, JJ. Sure, rush on both these guys. Don't Working wait. a good jab. Let it go. Good head movement is Dralu. He's going to have to use that because Durand has got some length. Power kicks by Dralu. Yes. Kick front. Uh, that, that. Kick to the front leg of Dralu by uh, Durand. Lands. Finds its mark. I don't know how many more of those Dralu can take. He's walking a little heavy. Look at the gait of Dralu. He, he felt that last kick. Yeah, he's wanting to close distance. A little bit of a bullying thrown into the ground there. I don't think that's technically legal, but we'll continue on. Good jab from Dralu. Settling down a little bit. Duran and Dralu. Dralu, a little labored breathing. Yes, more, more, more. Heavy breathing out of Dralu. He's moving, a, he's moving a lot of muscle there. Call the intensity. Yeah, you know, we had talked about the intensity. Before the fight even started, Dralu enters the cage. His corner had to pull him out in order to put the grease on him. Yeah. He, oh, there's definitely that option for the adrenaline dump. He, I mean, this is his first bout. He's fired up. He's got to calm it down. Takes some, there he goes. Takes some good deep breaths deep through the breaths. nose, out through the mouth. Reset himself and get after it. Finally a touch of gloves between both. Duran talking to Dralu. Come back. Don't let him do that. Uh, I would like to see Duran right keep away. that mouthpiece in his mouth properly because if he catches waiting. one from Dralu on the chin, and that mouthpiece isn't where it needs to be. It's going to be a bad night. That's right, punch Dralu. Marching forward, Duran counterpunching. Duran's doing a pretty good job landing from his back feet. Busy, Dralu chase him. Ooh, exchange of heavy punches. Big knees from Dralu from the clinch. Dralu. 
Can he maintain that pace? I don't know. But if you, if you look at Tralu, his gait is a little ginger when he's walking around. You see his front leg. His front leg's having a little bit of issues. It was one kick in particular. That I think it was a low, almost a calf yeah, kick in a way. Yeah, it was a calf kick by Duran. Yeah. Well, Duran, wow, 19 years of age, coming in here against a very aggressive, very big, uh, for his weight class, fighter. Uh, and he's staying calm. He's staying composed. He got Dylan Spicer kind of slowing Tralu down a little bit, having a conversation with him. Very organized corner. On the other side, we've got uh, Anthony Rose. I think a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of complaining from uh, JJ Duran's. We got the stool here, guys. Uh, JJ Duran's uh, while he's in the corner talking about some of the dumping and some of the back of the head holding things of that sort. We'll see if. Uh, uh, there was no touch of gloves until about the middle of the first <laughs> round. We're gonna see if they start this one. Touch right with both combatants. Yes. Ooh, that, yes. Attacking that leg again is Duran. Left, Come right, back. heavy punches landed by Tralu. They're kind of glancing, though. They're not really landing hard. Yes. Oh, elbow good elbow by Duran. From Duran. Elbow. Deep by Duran as well. Yeah, those punches, one, two, the, the heavy one, punches one, by, by Tralu are not landing. They're glancing and grazing. Duran's doing a good job of covering up and also changing levels, but that could get you caught with a kick if you keep bending down like that. The, the punches of Tralu are glancing, yes. spinning elbow by Duran. God, the composure of this kid at 19 years of age to, to come out with a spinning elbow. And, and, and not, not, not towering either, not, not fleeing from the fight. He's backing up, maintaining his, his space and just trying to lay counters. You know, against a guy that's coming in just red hot. Left, right punch again by Drowley. They're they're not really finding their mark though. No, no. And and how how much can he continue to go like this? How 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 can he continue this pace? The shoulder rolls by Duran is making it very difficult for Drowley to connect. Got it. Yes, good. Good. Come right back. See, in instances like this, when Drowley, he expended a lot of energy. Now this is the time for Duran. Start start, attacking yeah, that he's leg. gonna have to start attacking. Yep. And if he damaged that leg a little bit in that first round, he should be going back. To yes. That. Yes. And you, you can wait, see the gate of Dralu is having right some away. issues. Like watch, watch, watch when Dralu walks. He's a little heavy. Go, go, go. Like an overextension. He's nice, nice deep by Duran. Left, right punch by both combatants. None of these punches are really landing for either combatant. Ooh, inside leg kick finds its mark for Dralu. Dralu closing the distance again. Good job on Duran to clinch up. Doing both great, fighters, a little labored breathing on both fighters. Yeah, that. I'm worried that mouthpiece is going to be an issue for Duran if he gets caught on the chin at any point. Yes, Duran, the leaning over a little bit. Dralu kind of feeling the crowd up by pumping his fist. Um, I, I think that round, you're going to judge it by, by ring control. Yeah, aggression and ring control. Yeah. Definitely uh, going to draw. And he's not, he hasn't removed his eyes from J.J. Duran this entire time he's been sitting. Very focused. Yeah. Very focused. Corners giving their instruction. I think there's going to be a little sense of urgency on the, corner, the blue corner of J.J. Duran yep. going into this third round. He's got to stop being bullied. Yeah. Even though he's he's not absorbing the punches, he's getting bullied. You know, he's getting pushed right. around the ring. Right. It looks to me like the corner of J.J. Duran is wanting him to use a little more of those inside elbows, being that uh, drello has been so aggressive. Round three, third and final round. Here in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Both combatants, center of the ring, right touch of gloves. Right away. One, two, one, two. Dralu, three, four Big punch punches. combination. Ooh, counter by Duran finds its oh. mark, backing up elbow, and pushing elbow. forward is Dralu again. Nice little elbow by Duran. Duran has got some sneaky tricks in his bag. Elbow, yes. the, the punches of Duran are landing, even though he's getting kind of walloped yes. by just the overall output yes, of Dralu. Dralu is not landing much. This, JJ. Yes. Well, they had a fantastic ex kick, exchange over in that red corner where both landed very flush and they both felt each other's power. And uh, I think that JJ, 
boosted Duran's confidence. He took his punch. Drallo's going to have to hide. He's going to have to hide when he's coming with his power a little bit better. As I said, that he lands a hard left punch. Left right punch lands for Duran. Back in a clinch again. Now for a guy that's got five years of wrestling in Drallo, he's got some fantastic. Just discipline in regards to his stand up. Yeah. It's just setting it up a little exactly. bit better. He's he's loading up so much that Duran sees it coming from a mile away. He rotates his hips great in his punches, but uh, he's just he's firing too much. He's putting too much behind it. It's like almost like a Kevin Randleman esque type output. Yes. Don't let him set the pace, JJ. You got to go. Left, right punch by Dralu. There's Dralu going after those calf kicks. Duran's going to have to fire back. Maybe even fire first. He's going to have to make some adjustments. Catch, catch Dralu on his way in, being aggressive. Yes. Which he's not. Ooh, that is not a knockdown. That is a slip. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Ooh. One, two, That's two, right, two. punch. Cross face from uh, Duran into an elbow. I, I think right away, once one, again, his third round comes down to control, two, ring control. Yeah. I don't know. I think the aggression, in my opinion, is going to win it for Dralu. I agree. I agree. It wasn't so much that he was a more clean or more technique-driven fighter. It's just that he was very aggressive. Yes, and you know, to Dralu's credit as well, when you're throwing fastballs like that, you've only got so much before you got to go to the bullpen. And he threw the entire time. Yeah, like, oh. He I, had his breaks, he had his moments where he broke, but then he went right back. He absolutely proved me wrong because I didn't think he was going to keep that pace. I, there's a lot of muscle on that frame. Yes. And, and a high output with lots of power. I didn't think, I mean, if you look at his power punch as thrown, rather not landed, but thrown, that was a very, very impressive performance by Trawler. Yeah, I would say there were a handful of jabs in there, and the rest were... Fastballs the entire time. <laughs> Attacking. Yes. Attacking fastballs. Yes. yes, absolutely. Well, our judge decision came back quick, and we're going to make this fifth fight in this Muay Thai portion of our card. We're going to make this one official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the scores are in. Judges one and two scored about 30 to 27. And Judge 3 scores about 29-28. Your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Richard Jolly! I'm interested to see him in MMA. Like, if MMA is his 14, he's got five years of wrestling, he might be a little blue chip prospect once he settles in a little yes. bit. Yeah, he's got to get past that. Richard, uh, here real quick. Hey, JJ, don't leave real quick. I want to have a talk with you too, my man. Richard, what a fight. You guys went at it toe-to-toe -to -toe the whole time. Good Lord, is that what you trained for? No, I honestly trained for a knockout, but we're not going to do that with a decision, you know? We're coming back again, though. Right? Oh, hey, okay, man. You, you were going for it every second, every minute of that fight right there. Uh, it was a truly pleasure to watch over here. Now, when it, comes to, uh, when it comes to Muay Thai, is this your first discipline? No, no, no. Good job. For Muay Thai, yes, I'll say yes. But I've been in this uh, sort of competitiveness and, like, you know, having the mind support. I was like, I've been doing it for a long time, you know. Nothing new to me with the crowd and supporters, you know. It's virtually for me. You seem very comfortable in here, and you were going for the attack the whole time. Guys, one more time. You're with a Richard Jolly. JJ, my man over here. Pillar to pillar, pillar, post to post over here. You guys went at it. There wasn't a second where you weren't trying to do something in that fight, man. It was an honor and a pleasure to watch it. How do you feel after your debut? Uh, you know, I feel good. I'm kind of sad I didn't get the win, you know. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, but I'll be back. I swear to God. I'll be back. Oh, man, you were in there. And you know what I, you know what I noticed? You were looking to get a piece of him at any second, anywhere in that fight with the up elbow and stuff, that means your head's in the game. That means you know what you're doing in here and you look fantastic doing it. Uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> this shit's fun as fuck, you know. I love it, I'll be back definitely. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, yeah, it's my dream, you know. Also, sorry, Dolly, you know. 
I try to give them the best shots too, but it didn't work out. But I love everybody. Thank you for having me. And I'll be back, swear to God. You did a great job, guys. One more time, JJ Duran. The, the, I think he, he's got fantastic shoulder rolls. His Absolutely. defense is All right, amazing. everybody, we're going to take just a brief pause to make a couple of adjustments over here. So you know the deal. Take advantage of the wide open bar over here. Take advantage. Get yourself a drink. Stretch those legs. Also, big, big shout out to our lovely bar and wait staff working very hard for us here, guys. So we're going to take a brief pause for the cause. See you in just a few. Brief intermission.